Hello guys, I hope you have already enjoyed uh, the previous videos I prepared. If you haven't watched them, please go and check them out. They are really useful when it comes to using Proxy Traffic and uh, whether you should buy them or not. Uh, because I always had this uh, problem when I um, wanted to buy a Proxy Traffic. I still have this problem and I don't know, maybe I have a little bit of obsession <laughs> when it comes to buying some expensive stuff. I have to see at least a few reviews and then decide whether I should go for it or not. But anyways, this video is totally different from the previous videos that I've made. Today, I'm going to talk about how to get rid of your chest with less pain. I think it's very important to hide your chest, especially for trans people, of course. I know it's like a hassle, it's it's like a nightmare for trans people. I've been trying to hide my chance, uh, chest since I was in high school. So it's been, I don't know, maybe 15 years or something uh, that I've been hiding my chest. Uh, I haven't done uh, upper surgery yet, so I'm still in the waiting list. Uh, the country that I live in has a really long process, like Maybe one day uh, I will talk about that uh, for those trans people who want to come to this country and live here. Maybe it might be useful for them to, to know the procedure and how it works. It's very difficult. Uh, anyways, this video, I know it's, it's very difficult uh, to uh, live uh, in a body that you don't belong to and you don't like it at all. Or at least you don't like some part of it, not the whole body, not, not the whole your body, but at least some part of it you hate it. At least for me it was like that, so I know it's a very difficult situation for you guys. I can totally feel it with my bones, so that's why I'm making this video to help other people out there who may just figure it out they are trans and they want to hide their chest when they show up in public and so on. Well, I have tried uh, elastic bandage, I have tried chest binder, breast tape, and uh, like many other things, but uh, these are the most common things that I always used. Nothing. Nothing worked better than chest binder for me. First of all, it has no pain. You can breathe easier. Uh, you know, uh, if you have tried to hide your chest in different ways, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, when you uh, press your chest with, with something really tight, it makes you breathe heavier. You cannot breathe easy, easily. And it makes you uh, get tired easier because uh, the oxygen doesn't um, go through your blood uh, uh, easy. So it doesn't make your movement slower. I remember when I used... Um, elastic bandage uh, oh my god I always was like that because it was falling down all the time and I couldn't make uh, very fast <laughs> movements or uh, I couldn't exercise uh, very easy because all the time I had to be careful with my elastic bandage and put it like this or do like that and so yeah so uh, you uh, don't need to uh, be super careful when it comes to do different things with your hands or with your body uh, and of course as I said you don't need to be worried about if it falls down like elastic bandage or even like a uh, breast tape uh, it uh, you don't need to be worried about if it uh, detached from your chest like a uh, breast tape uh, if you for example uh, walk or run or do sports or exercise you know you start sweating right and when you sweat it is more likely that the uh, like breast tape uh, detached from your body this is the breast tape uh, I bought it uh, online it wasn't a really famous uh, store of course uh, i mean it wasn't a, a store which was only for trans people it was just as you can see in the picture just uh, a breast tape uh, um i bought it uh, and i used it as you can see i, I have used it several times uh, first of all i don't suggest it i, do, I don't suggest this one definitely i uh, suggest you to buy uh, a chest binder i'm going to show it to you in a second but if just if you want to use it anyways first of all if you have any hair on your body shave it before you uh, attach this to your body okay because when you want to det det detach this one for, uh, from your body if you have hair on it definitely you're gonna <laughs> get some hair you're gonna have some pain of course so yeah and uh, don't let it uh, be on your body for more than a few hours because then the skin of your body becomes very mm, sensitive right and uh, you're gonna have uh, some sort of pain after a while especially if you sweat so don't uh, let it be on your body for more than a few hours I even slept with them once and I strongly recommend not to use it uh, and not to sleep with it because uh, my skin became really red and I had uh, some sort of pain uh, in this area and I don't know how to explain this but um, like my uh, skin became really sensitive for a while when I used this so um, I don't recommend this just do it if you have to for example um, if, if you uh, want to swim, maybe this one is a little bit better choice because a uh, chest binder um, may, may appear um, under your clothes uh, when your clothes become wet, uh, then it may appear. Uh, I, I'm wearing a um, chest binder right now. And you see, if, if you look at this, it's, it's really cool. I mean, uh, it, there is no chest here, right? I should say my chest is not that much big though, but um, even if it's big, 
like uh, the flattiness of my body is better and it's it's much uh let's say natural compared to this one because when i um use uh the uh tape for example I, I should use several times here or maybe here or maybe here or maybe here and so on and so forth then uh, my chest becomes something like like a heel it goes up and down and it uh, it, it is not totally flat you know what i mean so it's like fluctuation and that's why um i think it, it's much better i really like this it's not that much expensive though uh, i think i paid uh, 45 dollars or something it's not cheap but it's not expensive and it, it is working for me for eight months i would say since i uh, got it uh, from uh, the hospital and um yeah it's, it's working um, um and i can show it to you yes and you see it's really cool i mean i can breathe easy i don't need to be worried about if it falls down or not um or it doesn't make my skin very sensitive or it bothers my skin and maybe the only the only thing that i can mention is that if you use this for several days non-stop like you sleep with it okay you don't take it out take it off sorry you don't take it off then uh, maybe you're gonna have some pain at your back because you know it's it's very tight uh it's very tight um like it's uh, that um, pattern or the material is similar to uh elastic bandage um so it may it, your body is under pressure but not as much as a uh, breast tape or elastic bandage okay um but after a while you may have some pain here at your back if you use it for in a row in a row for several days okay uh yeah i think um what that is what i wanted to tell to those people who haven't done top surgery yet and who um who really want to know uh which alternative uh is better to use when it comes to hiding your chest so as i said i've been hiding my chest for 15 years so i think i'm expert uh in this regard um yeah that's it if you have uh, any questions or comments uh let me know i would be happy to help and please uh don't forget to subscribe it gives me more energy to make more video have a great day bye